Hello and welcome to another mod tutorial in the Universal Electricity Mod Pack. I'm CD-ROM and today we're going to be looking at the Particle Accelerator. This is uh, pretty much brand new, it was only added uh, two days ago from the day I'm recording this. Um, so it's not, I mean, not a huge amount of people have had a chance to play around with it yet, but it's in the Atomic Science Mod Pack. You can go and download this now at calclavia.com. And uh, it lets you accelerate particles like they're doing at the Large Hadron Collider. Uh, you know, this uh, is used to make antimatter, which is used in antimatter bombs if you've got the ICBM installed. But they're also going to be used as uh, very, very advanced batteries. So, um, so let's get building a particle accelerator. Uh, first off, I'm going to show you the recipe. Uh, it's uh, elite circuits, steel plates, and motors. Elite circuits are, of course, very expensive. Yes, yes, very, very expensive. So uh, you're not going to be building a lot of these. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to put one of these down. And you'll notice it's currently just an iron block. There is currently no texture at all on this. There will be. But for now, know that the, uh, the, f the side which the particle will come out of is the side away from you. So in this situation, it's this one here, because I placed it on this side. Now, what we're going to do is create a ring. So to do that, we're going to need electromagnets. Um, again, you, you probably saw these in the uh, fusion thing. So we're just going to create a very small ring for proof of concept here. Uh, it can be as big or as small as you like. Um, though this ring itself will not actually generate any antimatter, and I'll go into why uh, shortly. But uh, for now, I'm just going to finish this all off. Uh, and the thing is as well, you can instead, if you prefer, use... Uh, I'm just going to turn the sound down. If you prefer, you can use uh, electromagnet glass, which is what thermal glass is now called. Uh, that's made by combining glass with an electromagnet. So it's pretty cheap. And we need to completely enclose this. Uh, I'll put some um, electromagnet glass on the top. So you can see what's going on. Again, if we put the recipe, you can see it's an electromagnet and glass. The electromagnet is bronze surrounding a motor. So they're not that expensive. I'm just going to put these all around the top. And again, you can just do this with regular electromagnets if you want. Um, you don't have to use these, but you want to see your particle doing stuff. So um, so this is basically our particle accelerator. It's uh, It's not a very good one. Uh, because particles um, need to accelerate, and sharp corners like this, uh, every eight blocks or so, that's not going to be good for acceleration. But first we need to create a particle, and this needs a lot of energy. Okay, so what I've done here is, uh, I, I save you the whole boring part of me placing these down. Uh, I've got a lot of coal generators down. You can generate the power however you want. Um, it's recommended that you use a fusion power plant or a fission power plant. These will generate you a lot of power very easily. Um, and these have just got some coal in them. If you're going to do it by coal, you're going to use a lot of coal. I've put a stack into each of these, and there's five of them, each producing a maximum of 50 of uh, 10 kilowatts. Um, the accelerator itself uses 50 kilowatts, you can see in the GUI here. And actually, this seems like a good place I need to talk about the GUI. Uh, this little spot up here, this is you place a piece of matter. That's going to be anything. It can be dirt, it can be stone, it can be a diamond, diamond block for all I care. Uh, and down here is antimatter. It will output antimatter to this slot here, and everything will be lovely and dandy, and you can make bombs. Okay, so um, what I've done is uh, rather than simply hook the accelerator straight up to the power, I've had the power go into a bat box first, um, just so it can be more easily metered out. Uh, it's not going out because this thing needs a redstone signal. I'm going to put a lever on it now, actually, uh, just so we know. There you go, and you can place the block against. You know, how redstone works. Um, I'm going to skip ahead now to when this bat box is full. Okay, our bat box has now filled up. You can see it there. We've got 4,000 kilojoules of energy stored here, and of course it will request more from these because there's still loads of coal left in them. So uh, you can see inside here, I've put a stack of dirt in. I've already used one. Uh, you can see that's why there's some energy used here, uh, just to test that it all works. Uh, I can confirm it does. So now what we're going to do is um, throw the switch, and this is going to get loud. So I'm just going to turn down the uh, the sound slightly. Uh, because they've had sound is great. There you go. And now you can see there is uh, a blue, d a purple dot flying around inside the particle accelerator. This is your particle. Um, this will basically. I'm going to turn it off while I explain. 
that's your particle. Um, it uses up a piece of your dirt. Um, your dirt here, you see that it level 63, now there's 62. Um, and when it's going, I'm just going to turn it on so you can see the velocity going up. Uh, and not do that either. Uh, yeah. Okay, so you can see the velocity is going 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, etc. But uh, as I said earlier, the problem with this particular, and when it runs out of energy, it uh, destroys the block up here, and nothing, nothing is gained. You just lose power. But this is uh, this isn't going to ever do anything, and the reason why is that the particle can't get fast enough. You know, it goes down here. It's six blocks long, eight blocks long. It turns the corner. It loses its velocity. It turns the corner again. It'll only ever get up to about 15% uh, 15 of its velocity, and you need to get it to 100% to generate your antimatter. So uh, what we really need, I think, is a um, a collider, a collider of uh, of these particles, hadrons, if you will, and we should make the collider uh, large. Yes, yes, that's exactly what I'm saying. We're very fortunate that uh, this mod pack includes a uh, instant LHC builder. Uh, in creative mode at least, you can't, can't construct this and what this will do is instantly create this massive structure here that I'm standing on top of, you can see my original one over there with the pigs uh, and this is the new one which was automatically created and I replaced the top with electromagnet glass so you can see what happens and I've, uh, I've const constructed a new power array here and uh, I'm just going to pop some cobblestone in there I'm going to turn down the sound again so you can actually hear me talk and uh, this time I'm going to try and follow the particle. I've no idea how successful I'll be. Um, actually, no, I won't follow the particle. I will follow the particle, then I'll come back and show you the um, what's going on in here when it happens. So we throw the switch, and oh no, I can't follow the particle. The particle has already gone. So I'm going to show you in the GUI. The particle is going fast. Uh, it's you can see this time it's not slowing down. It keeps going. And the thing about a uh, a particle accelerator of this size is, while it costs more in terms of resources, it will use much less power and generate much more f quickly. So in the time that the last one uh, took to generate about 15%, this one's almost at 50%. And uh, there's no, it's not losing power or anything. Um, I'll just show you how our bat box is doing. The bat box still has plenty of power in it. Um, it's, it's going down, of course, but uh, and uh, we're going to hit 100 soon. You can see it will judder occasionally. Uh, that's when it's turning a corner because the acceleration obviously uh, decreases when you ch change a corner uh, well your velocity decreases you accelerate you are still accelerating when you change the corner because acceleration is changing velocity over time as a level physics taught at GCSE physics even I didn't do a level physics god I'm not a physicist I did politics <laughs> no uh, anyway so when this reaches 100 uh, some antimatter is going to pop into this little slot here almost there and you can see we've only used we've not used a great deal of uh, energy only uh, these many kilojoules and I'm not sure how kilojoules work it's something to do with dividing watts by volts or something oh, almost there 97 8 no oh, it's uh, it's oh almost this is this is tense I hope it works oh it hit 100 it needs to stay at 100 for a while there we go we got some antimatter it sucked out more cobblestone and started again antimatter 200 milligram I'm going to shut this off Antimatter, what can we do with antimatter? Well, the answer to that is this. We can make it into one gram of antimatter. That one gram of antimatter can then be surround nuclear explosives to make an antimatter explosive. And uh, I'm sure you all know what they do. Yeah, let's, let's do it anyway. <laughs> Let's, let's just give myself an antimatter explosive and... Because uh, I know pe people like... People watch YouTube to see explosions, don't they? So we're going to walk over here and uh, need to go quite far out because these are massive and this is the truly destructive thing that's why these things are so expensive because this is going to be in multiplayer these things yeah and obviously this needs a lot of antimatter I mean you saw it there's one antimatter there you need five of those to make uh, one of the one gram things and you need eight of those so you need 40 antimatter you're going to need to do 40 circuits of that LHC you're going to need to build the LHC you're going to need to do all sorts I'm just going to throw the switch on this Oh, there's a village there. That may get obliterated. I'm going to stand back because I don't think my computer can handle the um, the pain that is going to be wrought by the antimatter weapon. It is very, very destructive. There it goes. And that's the crater. So it's, uh, it's about, about as destructive as a, a nuke. 
in industrial craft. Um, of course, the nukes in this aren't actually that destructive in terms of radius, but they do have nasty radiation. So that basically concludes my tutorial on the uh, the Large Hadron Collider, uh, the particle accelerator. Um, antimatter will be useful for more things in future. Currently, it's uh, I believe it's just used for um, the weapon. Is that right? Oh, and antimatter bullets, which go in your railgun and uh, can again they can fuck shit up, but not as much as the other thing. Uh, you, need, you need fewer. Um, and yeah, that's that's pretty much it for particle acceleration. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, if you want me to do any other tutorials on universal electricity, please let me know in the comments. Or furthermore, if you've got any more questions, let me know in the comments. I'll try to respond to them all. Uh, thank you, and uh, that's it from me.